Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Arachnid Alien and today we have a little box from the spider shop. I'm really excited about this box because inside we have two Kila Brackies Prashwap Kiri Khan. Now, I know that sounds pretty funny, but Prashwap Kiri Khan is actually a place in Thailand. Um, it's a big city, very hot. Um, <clears throat> these are going to be right at the front of my zoo, and these are going to be right at the front because it's where my heater is. Even at the night time of winter, Prashwap Kiri Khan only really gets down to like 25 degrees Celsius. And well, if you're from the UK like me, that is quite a warm day in the peak of summer. <laughs> um, so my zoo, because I own so many Kila Brackies, before I start, my zoo is around 23, 24 degrees at all times. And that's mainly because I own the majority of my collection is Old World and from Africa, Asia. So anyway, so I have two little sling pots that I've made up. Now, these are pretty full with substrate. So I've used cocoa fiber and I've actually used um, tortoise substrate. And I like to wet that a little bit and mix it with cocoa because it adds like um, a clay effect and goes hard after a while. And old worlds tend to love that because in the wild, these guys will dig feet literally these guys will dig so far so their chances of living in the wild are actually really slim so um anyways these are not very often seen in the uk hobby the prashwap kirikan quite often we'll see the kankrashan which is also extremely beautiful but the magic with these guys is that the males for some bizarre reason um they're really really small I haven't raised any of these myself, but I know people that have. So, um, yeah, so the males are really small. And the females are pretty much like the Kankrashan. They're sort of 14, 15 centimetres. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really hoping I've got one of each. And not two of two of one, because that would quite suck. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so this is filled up three quarters with cocoa substrate and tortoise substrate. I've mixed that all together, wetted it a little bit. Um, I've left it just for sort of 15 minutes with the lids off, just so it's not overpowerly moist. I've put a few holes in the top, which is all it really needs. You know, I feed my guys and water them once a week and I'll make sure when you take the lid off, usually that gives them enough oxygen if they're needing it or whatever. Um, you know, they don't take in much oxygen. So. Let's go. Tools that are ready. Now, <clears throat> I like that the spider shop use these little pots for whatever. Um, because usually I buy in bulk, as a lot of you are aware. And, you know, when you get them in vials, you can bosh through vials, but vials are wicked. Vials are quite a pain. Uh, with these sling pots, I like to keep them. And as you can see, I reuse them onto the next. So, one little brush wipe curry can. The new home. You can really see. Little cutie. Watch your toes. So that's one. Tissue is still nice and moist, which is great. <coughs> oh, the other one. I don't really tend to um, put, try and squeeze water dishes or anything in here whilst they're this small. Just a little um, pipette. I just squeeze a little bit of water down the side or with these guys web, you know, these guys are super insane with their web from very young so you know usually for webbings webbers we just oh we've got a little frat pose brilliant well this one's not as chill as the last one 
And we've also got some pretty sporadic webbing in the little tissue here, so. And this one's a little bit bigger. So I'm not gonna show you guys this one because it's on a bit of a rampage and I don't want to lose it. <clears throat> so there we go. Two new Kila Brackies, Prashwap Kiwi Khan added to Arachnidalian Zoo. Thank you, Spider Shop. I'm very excited for these. Um, and thank you for watching.